What is up gamers? I am so revalue from Gaming X and finally I took enough I got enough courage to do my one month review on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Now these are just my thoughts. It's gonna be a quick my thoughts and I'm gonna answer some questions from the fans from the Gaming X page. Of course the Gaming X page is on Facebook. I left the links at the bottom. We're also doing a podcast every weekly on Podomatic, so make sure you check those out. I'll leave the links on the description. Make sure you give a share, you like, and subscribe to the channel as we're going to be doing more shows and more reviews based on our thoughts on games and anything that's coming up in in the near future. So, for now we have here, we have the Xbox One with the PlayStation 4 connect. I have the PlayStation 4 connected to the HDMI in on the Xbox One so you see it. It's a, as you see, you guys see the PlayStation 4 as a TV and then the Xbox One. So, Xbox, watch TV. And as you guys see, this is this is the new dashboard for the for the PlayStation 4. It's very it's very unique to PlayStation. Of course, it has this is all the games that I've downloaded. Of course, you have the video unlimited and you have the music unlimited. The internet browser. I haven't used the internet browser just maybe once, but that's it. Um, I really don't use these type of stuff. Of course, I have Sound Shapes Playroom that came with it. I also have the camera with the PlayStation, so that's that's a plus. Um, I downloaded Flower, and of course, you go to the, your library, you press Start, and you have all the games that you have downloaded. This is actually all the games that you have downloaded or have add-ons for. As you guys see, I have Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I have the disc. It shows on the corner as a little blue disc because I have the disc. So these are just add-ons. Of course, I download Warframe, um, Black Light. These with the little with the little arrow are games that I deleted. Let Lego Marvel Superhero Demo. I deleted it. Escape Plan. I deleted. So if this is your library of all the games that you downloaded. Now if you get out of here, you guys see that I also have Killzone, Shadows Fall, um, Assassin's Creed, and Knack. My wife has been stuck on Don't Starve console edition, so I haven't been able to do the review. So yeah, blame her. What? You also have Live from PlayStation. This is where you have all the Twitch and Ustreams show all together in one little thing. So if you are interested in looking at other people playing, you can go ahead and see other people playing and doing videos. If you guys know that Playroom has been the number one streaming game because people can use it as a camera. Now, one thing I do say is I hate the quality of these videos. They don't look as good as they should. They look really choppy, and it looks like it's, I don't know if it's because of my connection, but as you guys see, this is the quality of the PlayStation. It does get better, but it really? still really kind of mess up. Of course, let me get out of there because I don't want him talking over me. So there you go. That's the live from PlayStation. And of course, how you see your friends and stuff like that, it's all here. You get notifications, of course, your friends. One thing is, guys, uh, one of the things I hate about this whole two months is that it's been very lonely. I have only like two, three friends that have a PS4. I really don't play games with them, so it's really lonely. It's been one of those things. So if you're thinking about getting a console, I do, I do want you to think about it and also think who of your friends have the console. If most of your friends have Xbox One, I suggest you get Xbox One. And if most of your friends have PlayStation, you should go with PlayStation. But I'll get into that later. Of course, you have your messages. You cannot message um, PS4, PS3 users, but PS3 users could message you. Also, they will not see you online if you're on your PS4. Like these people, they're all on the PS3, and they will not be able to see you. So as you guys see, it actually tells me he's on his PS3. Now, one thing is, is that this is how I know if they have a PS4 or not. The way it says not public, it will normally show the last game they play. So let me go with somebody that actually has a PS4. I'll go with the wifey since she's, so you guys can see she's been playing those stars like forever. So 
There you go. You guys can actually link your PSN account with your Facebook account. So it will give you your real name. You also have to like ask them for the name. So I asked my wife for her name. And of course, she's going to say yes. So it's Mary Lou. That's her name. And then Queen Darkness. That's her PlayStation Network name. And there you go. It shows her picture. And there you go. You, have, you guys see, it actually shows that she was playing Don't Starve at the end. Uh, her friends list and all that other stuff. So it's very different than with a place with a person that has the PS3. Of course, you could chat with them. I did a voice a voice chat with um, Oni. He's one of our admins at the Gaming X page. The quality of the video chat was pretty good, but it's just two of us, so it really doesn't. I really don't want to say that it's the perfect voice chat. All I know is that he was. I was using my blue my blue snowball mic on the PS4 and he was using the regular little headphones that the PS4 comes with so automatically it was pretty perfect for him he was lit he was hearing me perfect I was hearing him perfect so it's pretty cool I was playing Wolfram while he was just on the dashboard so of course that's something that you could do even if you're not PlayStation Plus of course you guys know that you need PlayStation Plus for you to play multiplayer games and of course all the other stuff one thing I hate about the PlayStation is something that I, I hope they upgraded and I hope they give you a uh, firmware for it is that when a place when somebody signs in to PlayStation Network it will not show that they signed in. I do not get no notifications of them signing in. And of course you have your profile. There you go, that's me dancing. Um yeah, but I'm not gonna get into that. So this is the games that I've been playing, of course. So there you go, guys. This is my picture. I have my Facebook integrated with my PlayStation Network account. So you guys see, this is the... F um, every time you change your picture on Facebook, it will actually change the picture here, too. Um, now, I don't know if a PS4 user will see your picture unless you allow them to see it. I really don't know. I can't do it right now because my wife has me as a friend. But as you guys see, I see her Facebook page. So I don't know if she has it. You can actually have it that you block everybody from seeing that picture and they'll be able to see your avatar from the PS3 or just, you know, they'll see your picture if you let them to. So, of course, I've been playing Don't Starve. I only played it for like, what, 10 minutes? And I, I was like, fuck it. I played Killzone. I haven't beaten it in, in contract. Contrast, I got that for free. And of course, you have your trophies. It's a lot faster to sync your trophies, guys. Thank God if you guys see it, it's syncing the P with PSN. Super fast, way better than PS3. That's one advantage that you have. And of course, it shows your PS Vita, your PS4, and of course, PS3 games. All nice, and you can compare. It's pretty cool. One thing that a lot of people want is for you to be shown offline, something that it's still not here. And of course, something that's fixed that I think is more user friendly now is the settings. You guys see all the user friendly settings now. Everything is all, you know, in here. It's not like the old one that you have to pick different options just to go somewhere. So, of course, you have everything in one little thing and it's more easier. It's actually a lot more easier. I was able to you know hook the PlayStation 4 to the network and everything really fast of course you have different things like PlayStation app con uh, connectivity one thing is if you leave your PS4 on standby and you click on the on your phone and you press to download it the PS4 will not turn on it will just stay on standby and download it that's what I did with don't starve I thought I had to turn it on so I turned it on and it was right there and ready for me to play so it was kind of cool um, other than that, that's basically it on the PlayStation. Now, a lot of people want, want me to answer this question, and that is, would you recommend us buying the PS4? I'm going to be honest with you guys. Right now, no. The PS4 is not... If you want it because you want to have it, go ahead and get it. I'm not going to say don't get it. But it just doesn't have that many games. Of course, you have Warframe, and you have all these... PS3 games that you could play on your PS4 now. Warframe is a PC game. Of course, you have um, Blacklight Retribution. That's an, another PC game. But if you've been a PC gamer and you want to go ahead and transfer to a console, 
then you could do that. But it's just the games are not there and they're not coming anytime soon. I think the next game is in March and that's infamous. I mean, if you're thinking about getting Tomb Raider, I guess that'll be fine. But there's a lot of games on PS3 coming out like Final Fantasy 13 2 and Final Fantasy 10 and, you know, Dark Souls 2. Castlevania just recently came out. So those are games that could hold you up. If you don't have the money for it, don't sell your PS3 for it. Of course, you know, PlayStation now just got it now. So you could wait for that for you to play PS3 games. But there's only like three or four games that they're going to come out in the beta. So it's not a big hurry. It's not such a hurry for you to get the console. So, again, I don't... I'm not going to say, yes, you should get it. You should get it. I'm not going to be a fanboy and tell you, yeah, you should get it. I'm going to be honest with you, and this is one of the reviews that I'm going to... I'm going to be doing this in all my reviews. Be very honest and leave the fanboy alone. And I will tell you, don't get it if you don't need to. It's a $3.99 console. It has games to hold you up for a little while, but then it's just going to be kind of lonely if you don't have no friends with it. It's just, it really depends on who has it on your friend. WrestleGun is one of the best games right now out, out on the PS4. It just, it's going to hold you for a little while. And of course, Killzone, eh, not that big of a deal for me. I played all the Killzone. It's just, I've been playing a lot of PS3 recently, and well, one reason is because my wife's been playing Don't Starve. And she took the PS4 away from me for like four days straight. But other than that, guys, it's not worth to pay $3.99 for it. Um, so, that's it. That's actually my little review for the PS4. It's it's worth it if you, if you have friends with it. It's not worth if you're going to play single player. The games are not there. So, hold. don't sell your collection for it. Try not to sell your collection for it. They're going to be more in stock soon. So just just wait it out. I got it because I have the Facebook page and I wanted to get both of them so like that I could, you know, do these type of reviews for our fans at the page. And we have over 12,000 fans on the page and it's just one thing that I wanted to get. I got it the first day. And believe it or not, something that I wanted to say also, the first day I got it, um... I had the blue light uh, of death, basically. It was blinking blue. So I didn't play the game until the next Friday when I got the Xbox One. I actually got the Xbox One and the PS4 back. I took the PS4 to the Sony store. They fixed it. I don't know what they did. All I know is that on my trophy, it has Just Dance 2014 on it. So basically, they ch do you guys want me to do another video of my thoughts on the PS4? Go ahead and ask me questions. I'm, uh, I would love to make another video and, of course, um, answer a lot of your questions about the PS4. Anything that I didn't cover. I try to cover as much as the questions that I got from Gaming X. I will answer more of them on the Xbox One video. So make sure you, got, you come back and you check out the Xbox One review and my thoughts. It's going to be a little bit more of a negative side on the Xbox One. Because there's a lot of things that they need to fix and a lot of features that they need to come with. So make sure you come back for that. So make sure you like, you subscribe, you share. And again, thank you. And as always, this is Sorry Value. Again, thanks a lot for watching. I hope I answer our fans' questions. And again, if I didn't, please, please, please private message the, the page. And or message us on YouTube and I will answer any questions you guys want on the PS4. And of course with that I leave you. Game on and so Viver Alu is out. Xbox Dashboard. <laughs> it went fast forward. So yeah you go guys. Some of the stuff about Xbox. Xbox Dashboard. Xbox go home. Yeah, it's go home. I'm so stupid. Sorry, guys. Let's go home. So, again, that's a preview of the Xbox One for the next video. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.